Okay, guys, so I'm going to do example five for you since we didn't get to this in class. And I really think you should be doing this uh, for your homework as well so that we don't waste time in our next class. So I wanted to go over this example with you. It's a little bit more challenging, but I think it's totally doable for you. Any case, let's look at this. Uh, I'll read it with you, and then I'll show you kind of the logic on how to solve this problem. Okay, so it says, for a sound with intensity I in watts per square meter, the loudness L of I of the sound in decibels is given by the function L of I equals 10 log base 10 of I over I sub 0, where I sub 0 is the intensity of a barely audible sound. An artist in a recording studio turns up the volume of a track so that the sound's intensity doubles. By how many decibels does the loudness increase? So, uh, important parts here is that you know intensity is letter i. Uh, we have a function of i here that gives me back sound in decibels. And here is L of i. The function is given to us. And so if I know i and i sub 0, I can basically come up with how many decibels the loudness is using the function. Uh, but you'll see that uh, this I sub zero and this stuff actually doesn't end up being used, but you don't know that going into it. So we'll just use the function they gave us and see what happens, okay? So let's say th this is the important part. An artist in a recording studio turns up the volume so the intensity doubles. So then they ask, how many decibels does the loudness increase? Okay, so decibels, meaning I'm going to be looking at L of, L, L of I, okay, two L of I's, and if I want to see an increase, it's basically I'm going to subtract two L of I's to see a difference between them, which will hopefully, if you subtract the bigger minus the smaller, give you an increase, okay? So um, let's do this. We'll say, let's write the expression for the loudness before doubling the intensity, okay, and that's a fairly simple thing, that's the one they gave us, okay, so we don't know what the original intensity was, but for any specific intensity, the loudness is this, just coming directly from our formula, okay, so I'm just writing this down basically. I don't know the original intensity, but so I'm just going to leave it as I, okay? And then the question is uh, loudness after doubling the intensity. What is that? Okay, so doubling the intensity means 2 times I. That's what doubling the intensity means. Okay, so I'm going to substitute 2 times i instead of i. So basically what I have is L of 2 times i, which is 10 log base 10 of 2 times i over i sub 0. So, okay, I have two expressions. One is the loudness after doubling one is the loudness before doubling. So question is, let me erase some of this stuff. The question is this. How many decibels does the loudness increase by? Well, that would mean take the loudness after doubling minus the loudness before doubling. So what I'm going to be doing is this. Uh, L of 2i minus L of i. <coughs> and seeing how many decibels louder the uh, sound is with two, twice the intensity. Okay, so now all I have to do is take this and substitute. So I have 10 log base 10 of 2i over i sub 0 minus and then the intensity before is 10 log base 10 of i over i sub 0. 
Now I have this, I have to do something to simplify it. I don't really know what i is, so I'm kind of stuck. I'm working in terms of a variable. But I know some properties of logs that we learned in the previous lesson, so I can do this and say factor out the 10, okay, and then write it like this. Okay. And then I can use the subtraction property. Okay, so we had, let me scroll back here slowly. We had this uh, quotient property that says if I subtract logs, it turns into a division of the things I'm taking the log off. And so we can use that information. Let's go back here and combine this as a single log. So I can do 10 times log. Now I'm going to have an interesting division here. Uh, I'm going to take the first thing I'm taking the log off and divide it by the second thing I'm taking the log off. Okay, And so if I do that, I get uh, 2i over i sub 0. All right, That's the first thing I'm taking the log off. And then this minus turns into a division symbol. Okay, kind of like that. And then on the bottom, the second thing I'm taking the log of. So i over i sub 0. All right. So that's one big expression. And let me erase my arrow there. All right. So this is what I have. Now, uh, it looks pretty bad right now, but actually it's not that bad. So what I have here is 2 times i over i sub 0. Let me circle that for you. I have 2 times this over 1 times that. So we can see that this is just the same thing repeated. So this and this cancel. So all I actually have left is 10 times log base 10 of this thing, which is 2. That's simplified down very, very nicely. And if you put that in your calculator, 10 times log base 10 of 2, we go over here, that's 10 times log base 10 of 2, uh, that gives me about 3.01. So that's about 3.01 decibels. So that means if you double the intensity, okay, the loudness goes up by about 3 decibels. All right? So that's the answer to that one. It's a nice little, uh, I guess, uh, physics application of um, sound, right? And log properties for math. All right, guys, thanks. I hope that helped you, and uh, we'll answer any of these questions you have next class. Thanks.